Okay, here we are. And what we got here is, um, I wouldn't say a unique situation, but one that could definitely cause a lot of heartache if you didn't have the right equipment to take care of it. This is a really rare Ford FE head. I'm thinking it's around a 63 model. This is a closed chamber, the big 427, casting number C O A E. Okay, and getting ready to full port these for a customer. And when we did just a touch clean up surface on them, I was getting ready to port the chambers, noticed we had a problem. Serious rust pockets in here, deep ones, that was right in the fire ring area. Now I'm going to give you a close up here, okay. As you can see, there's no way this would have held a seal. These devits is where I went in there with a die grinder and blended out all of the rust. Cut into the rust here. Well, you say, well, when you do that, the fire ring is going to come right in the middle of it. It won't seal. Well, I'm going to show you how I take my cast iron welding technology, go in there, cover that up, fill this in, fill that up, and then I'll, and then I'll uh, cut the head, and you will not hardly be able to tell where I welded it. So, I wanted to give the head a once over so you could see it. I got serious problems in the combustion chamber. Uh, wow, well, I mean, it's just all over the place. As you can see right there in the chamber, uh, here, 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 here. And then we move on over, and right there, we got one there and there. And let me see, we got one... This is the worst one here, here, I mean right in the fire ring, boom, a big one right there, all this area. And then finally, as we come over to the final chamber, here, 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 and here. So, I'm going to take my spray welding torch, bring the head up to heat, cook it, go in there, and spray weld and fuse all of that up. Then I'll have to go in with a, a ziz wheel or angle grinder as it's properly called and blend it all out then get it surfaced and save the head. Some of these rust pockets were so deep on that second chamber right there that it would have took probably uh, 60 thousandths and I'll be honest with you I don't think that would have got it and uh, I don't like milling them. These heads are worth from my understanding I might be wrong but I was told around $1,500 bare like they are and you know in good shape so let's cast weld them up and fix this guy's cylinder head and then go on about the porting okay we got her on the oven now now people at home know that this ain't an ordinary oven i mean it looks like an old junk oven which the frame is but i've modified the jets um uh, increase the amount of flow to it. There's been a few tricks I've done. I can usually get up to around 750 degrees heat. I can't. I, I think I can almost touch 800. That's about it. So most of these ovens get about three or four hundred. I've almost doubled its capacity. So I'm gonna go ahead, close it up, and um, come back when I when I've got enough heat to go in there and do. I just thought I'd show you before I went to work. This is my weapon of choice. Um, this is belongs to a company. This is the Model 10 Maintenance Welding Powder Sprayer. You can see the little hopper, the bottle of 99% nickel. It uses gas saline through a series of venturis and a little bitty... Um, a rubber uh, venturi with a certain diameter hole in the center to release the powder from the oxygen saline and send it down to the torch. Now for this operation I'm using a number 15 tip which is a very small one. I don't want a lot of heat just enough to throw and get it red inside the chambers and do what I gotta do. Alright. Okay this is the Ford FE head that we're doing the welding on. This is the opposite. This is its mate. And what I'm going to do, I mean, when I look at this head, I'm just really amazed. It is just unbelievable that 1963 or thereabouts when they made this head, 
that this combustion chamber shape is this awesome. I mean, it's just, what I'm going to do is turn it into a current shape style combustion chamber, and it's not going to take that much effort to do it. Um, I mean, yeah, the spark plug's a little farther in than what I like, but overall the combustion chamber shape was years ahead of its time years and years look at the heart shape style combustion chamber how they bank this once i go in there alleviate it and reshape it it'll just be within an eyelash of uh being current on combustion chamber styles so I'm going to reshape this, and this is for the purpose of airflow. This is to get the charge in there. You can see on where the lines are scribed, how much meat that I got to take off and, and blend it. So I just wanted to get a shot of before I begin the work, and then, of course, after. We'll follow this through, because I bet I'll probably never pour to one of these heads again as long as I live. You just don't see them. And I, I love working... If you ask me what my favorite thing to work on probably is, and it's not aluminum, believe it or not, it's the old antique heads like this. I had a gentleman call me on a Boss 429, the original shotgun 429, and that's coming here soon, and I'm going to do a full story on that because that head has some history to it. It involves NASCAR and everything else, and it is really an amazing head. But for right now, let's concentrate on this FE. This is getting a stage 3.5, which is combustion chamber reshape. I'm going a little bit further on this just because it's an older head to really make it nice and to lower the compression for the guy. So let's go ahead and start reshaping the chambers and then finish our job.